is. It's a Rolls-Royce Wraith black badge. Now, clearly a car like this is for somebody who has a lot of money and doesn't mind people knowing it. It does actually cost in the order of 280,000 euros. As you can see, it is black. We're used to seeing Rolls-Royce in sort of softer silvery colors. This one's a bit different. So who are they trying to sell it to? Well, let's ask the man behind the wheel. Behind the wheel of the company, that is. Here he is, Torsten muller Otvos oh, of Rolls-Royce. Torsten, this is something rather different from what we've become used to seeing from Rolls-Royce. Right, yeah. Who's going to be buying it? I would say we've done that for good reasons, because we are also talking to kind of a lot of uh, more disruptive kind of entrepreneurs, younger people who approached us to say they would like to drive something very different, nothing seen before from Rolls-Royce, and that's the reason why we have brought Black Batch here into the market now. People on the stand here have been describing this car in tones such as menacing. I mean, is this the Rolls-Royce gone bad? The, the dark I, side? I would say it's a little bit of a darker side. It's the alter ego of Rolls-Royce and uh, the more darker side of the brand. I wouldn't call it menacing in its way. You can call it menacing, but we would say the more darker, blacker part of the uh, brand, the more, I would even say, definitely more uh, receptive to driving and the driver's car also for the entrepreneurs a car where we have given quite a lot of uh, additional horsepower and also talk to uh, to make it even more agile and even more powerful okay now a car like this it doesn't come cheap it's 280,000 euros now I know that your biggest markets at the moment are China and the Middle East in China the economy is slowing down there's a clamp down on corruption maybe being seen in something like this isn't a good thing at the moment. And of course, in the Middle East, the oil price is falling. So is that hurting your business? Uh, yeah, I would only partially agree to that because not the whole world is in doom and gloom. And uh, don't forget our biggest market is the United States worldwide, followed by the Middle East. China is not any longer our strongest market due to these uh, mentioned issues uh, you were talking before. But I mean, don't forget, last year was our second best year in the history of the company. And this is a very remarkable result. And uh, particularly with Dawn, our new convertible coming into the market this year, I'm uh, positive about our future here also for 2016. Torsten muller Otvos, thank you very much indeed. We'll let you get on your way now. Pleasure. So I'll All close right. the door thank there. And uh, I'll run along before he notices I've got fingerprints on the paintwork.